Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode in my co-op Terraria Let's Play with Necromanticer. And we're we're doing what are we doing in this episode? Well, as has been the fashion for the past few episodes, we still need to go exploring for more resources. However, our last trip was pretty gosh darn successful. We've got enough to make me iron armor, as you can see I'm wearing. And show them what your new bit of loot is. Oh, 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 this is awesome. Yes, indeed. I've got a grappling hook. Exactly, and that's going to allow you to zip out and about, latch onto walls, ceilings, etc. And since you've got that enchanted boomerang, it's going to make really great uh, positioning for ranged combat. Very nice. What's the uh, what's addition, the range on the grappling hook? I should probably ask. Oh, you know, I think it's about 15 tiles or so, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. I know that the stock grappling hook is not too good, but we'll be finding upgrades as we go. Nice. In other news, we managed to pick up a bunch of cobwebs, so I'm going to make us each a bed so that we can set those up, as well as we have a bunch of silt and this fancy extractinator over here. You may be, have been wondering what this strange gyrating spring-like structure is, but it actually allows us to convert silt or slush into random ores, gems, or just plain cash. And so by converting like most of this stack that I had, I actually managed to pick up a few bits of platinum ore, which means that I can now craft those into a final bar and get us all 12 of those bars that we needed in order to make a platinum pickaxe. So nice. now we've got that, and we had a, a silver one from last time, so I can pawn that off on you, and we are in a very good position. So silver's better than copper. Indeed. And Pretty much everything's better than copper. Okay. So... I'm going to put uh, some of this random stuff back then. Let's see. You go right ahead. Copper pickaxe I don't need anymore. Yeah, no, not really. Probably probably don't need that. Just a thought. Let's see. You know, see. considering... Oh, I, I just dropped your bed downstairs. I mistook you for the guide. Oh. But oh something well. that I'm going to want to do is actually clear out this equipment chest. All the old equipment that we have, we can pretty much just get rid of. It's never going to come in handy later. The only time you really want to keep things for later is if they hold sentimental value, are good for vanity, or if they are materials that can be used in interesting recipes. All right. Which is not the case for any of our old equipment. So I'm just going to go to town selling that for a few coins. So where should we put our beds? Our beds, you know, I'm going to set mine up right up here. You can, We can use the same bed, but I just wanted to give us a little different colored beds just in case. Here we are. This is what mine is. I'm just going to set that as my spawn point. You can set it as your spawn by right-clicking it. Oh, <laughs> oops. Accidentally used that. But now I'm just going to store away the rest of these materials here. Where is the chest for that. There we go. And I think we're about ready to get back to mining if you're ready yourself. I think so. Let's go let's go test out some stuff. Oh yeah, you should really be enjoying your new pickaxe. It's a I should probably grab upgrade. some wood before we go though. I grabbed all the wood. No need to worry. Oh, you have it? Okay. Yes. Sweet. Speaking of which, I'm going to craft some extra platforms just ahead of time since I know we're going to be making much faster progress. Um, oh, well, looks like you figured that out already. You can completely negate fall damage by latching onto either the walls, ceiling, or floor before you impact. So that's a very nice trick for making sure that you are a bit more survivable and for taking long falls. We've been making this five wide. I think we accidentally made it five wide up there. Ah, no matter, we can fix it going forward at least that's fine are we just going back to uh, basically mining straight down i would like to since eventually this is going to be our one-way ticket to hell and we are going to have to spend many a journey 
getting to and from hell. So the faster this elevator gets built up, the faster we can start progressing into the really end game stuff. All right, then I'm going to drain out some of this water that's directly underneath where we... Uh, I don't think it is underneath. Like, I'm looking it, at my minimap, and it's off to the right a bit. Oh. So you don't have to worry about that. You can just come right back on up and help me mining, or you could just kind of sit there and watch. That's fine, too. I'm, Whatever floats your boat. I'm working on it. You may have trapped yourself, so mine your way out of there, and we can... Get back to the big shaft we we're creating. I am messing these up. I started placing them five apart. I don't know what's going on here. Clearly, I am not paying attention when placing these. You there should. We go. You should be paying attention. It. It's true. I should be. But where's the fun in that? Well, this is true. Oh, I suppose it's more fun if you're, you know, derping around. Indeed, but. You can see how much faster this goes, especially since we have both of us mining. It just breezes by. Yeah, the, uh, this, there's definitely a noticeable difference between the copper and the silver. In addition, the uh, different pickaxes have different ranges. Most pickaxes have the range we have now, which is three away. But the initial copper pickaxes had reduced range, so that was no fun to deal with either. I see. There seems to be something nasty over here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a skeleton miner. He's kind of dithering about with his little light on his head, so... I'm gonna go it's say very hi. easy to spot. I th I'm, I'm gonna go say hi to him. He you looks go lovely. right ahead. He looks if lovely. If I might make a suggestion, you should say hi from a distance. He's not exactly the friendliest of fellows, and if he gets too close to you, I don't know. Let's just say he's a little bit clingy. He's clingy. Is he a, he's a stage five clinger. Indeed. Ah, oh. the absolute worst kind. All right. So. Yes. I think I'm going to go kind of explore this way. That's a dangerous proposition. If ever there was one thinking is always <laughs> what comes before mistakes or rather not thinking. I don't quite remember. It's one of the above. One of the above. All right. Duly noted. There's all sorts of stuff over here, actually. There's lots of fun yeah. things. That's mm. why it's really great to find cave systems, is because they can take you much farther and usually have a bunch of really great resources to take advantage of as you're making your way down into the lower levels of the Earth. So I think what I'm going to do... There actually seems to be, like, some... I see, like, some uh, pots and stuff up here, so I think I'm going to kind of work my way up here and see what I can find. Pots are nice. They're not terribly valuable, but uh, they generally show you where other interesting loot might be, so it's nice to follow your nose in that respect. You got... Is this the right distance? I hate having to eyeball it, but the only way to actually get a grid is to purchase a specific accessory from one of the later game NPCs, so it's kind of out of the question for quite a while. Well, there's definitely some iron ore over here, so I that's, good. that's useful. Iron ore has a lot of utility. It's used for a bunch of furniture, recipes, even a few potions, so always good to have on hand. And I notice that we can, uh, you can, you can grapple your way pretty much directly up. Yeah. It's incredible mobility. Um, getting a grappling hook is pretty much necessary to having any sort of fun with the game because, quite honestly, it's very difficult to navigate without a grappling hook. Right. But once you get one, it becomes a lot easier, especially when you add on some of the more advanced uh, mobility accessories that you can get, like... Um, rocket boots, or even wings once we get into hard mode. Really? Oh, wings, yes. Wings, huh? Wings are fantastic. They allow you to fly for short periods of time, glide, and even completely negate fall damage. So just all around really nice things. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Then again, 
they do require quite the investment. You either need to spend a whole platinum coin on one, or you can craft them from Souls of Flight, which we're going to get from uh, really difficult enemies, Wyverns, that only spawn at the very top of the map. So it can be difficult to procure, but well worth the investment of time and effort. Ow! Stop it! That it's coming. Was, it's coming that for was us. dangerous. This looks like more platinum. It is only silver. Platinum has a sort of rainbow rainbowy opalescent sheen to it. Oh. This I is just all, really I was all excited. Bright. I was so yeah, excited. Silver's still pretty good. I only have iron armor right now, so if we could get you in platinum armor. I mean silver armor. That would still uh, be I, a pretty I, intense upgrade. Pretty sure that this is platinum right here. Yes, now you're now you're getting it. Haha! -ha! Victory! We found it. See, no, there we go. So difficult to judge. Ugh, it's frustrating, but we are making good progress. Well, that's good. As you can see by the grayish background, again, we have entered the deep underground cave system. So that means that there's going to be a lot of great stuff coming up as we proceed. And once we just get a little bit further, we'll reach the end of where we've already explored and start making our way into new territory with completely untapped resources. Well, this is good. There's no, uh, something, much so. something nasty jumping around down here. Uh, then I recommend we take a moment before engaging it or, you know, just jump right into it. That's fine. Hey, my boomerang. You seem to be handling yourself quite nicely, so I'm going to let you do that. It does, it does the trick. Anything useful over here? Mm. Doesn't look like it. You have some cobwebs, but nothing particularly interesting in the resources front. Hmm. There's also a little bit of water there, but we can easily avoid that just by not digging on over to it. Right. Stop it, stupid bats. That is one of the issues about the underground, is that there's very annoying enemies in rather great... Uh oh. <laughs> you seem to well, have that's fallen. that's one way to do it. Yeah, you know, you kind of threw me off. Do you have any wood platforms? Nope. Uh, you haven't even been picking up any of the ones that kind of fell from my mistakes? I, I didn't know I was supposed to... Oh, there's oh, there's a slime over here. Yeah, there's a lot of things, and they are not treating me nicely. Let me put it that way. There we go. Can I spear this? Come on. Fine. Arrows will do just fine. We got it. Indeed. That is really good. I'm going to collect up a little bit more of this silt just because it makes for a very nice sort of catch-all resource since it turns into a bunch of random stuff. Mm -hmm. so, so this this red stuff that's glowing down here? Yes. Is that something that we can uh, mine now that we have platinum and stuff? No. Uh, once again, that is going to take quite a bit before we can mine. Specifically, we're going to... Hang on a sec. You know, I think that platinum can mine it. I'm trying to remember. All I know is that it's not worth mining. That's the problem. Is really? that? Yeah. The problem is that um, you can actually get a great abundance of it by killing the bosses that are available at this stage of the game. So if you're wasting time actually mining it, it's kind of a waste just because there's not enough of it. It's not concentrated enough to make it worth your while. But it's all it's all glowy and shiny and stuff. Yeah, no, that's because it's a pretty good resource. It's just not worth the time to mine it. Since, or at least to go out of your way to mine it, since you'll never be able to create anything of real worth just by uh, mining it out. Because, as you can see, there's only about three blocks down there. However, just a single fight with... I believe the Eye of Cthulhu, yeah, that's the first one, would give you about 60, let's say. So it's really inefficient. So we're so we're better off fighting the big nasty things. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. And as you've got some nice range damage with your enchanted boomerang, and I've got some nice armor, we should be able to set that up as soon as we just get a little bit more health. That's the one problem we've run into is that we haven't been finding much health, which is hmm. very frustrating, but 
as I said, resources get more and more bountiful as we progress downwards. So we just need to hold the course and we will find wonderful, wonderful things in the depths to come. Excellent. Yes. Quite excellent indeed. I'm thinking, though, I'm thinking that we're getting pretty close to our time. So why don't we finish, uh, why don't we finish kind of checking out this little cave system and mining down just a little bit farther? And then Sounds we'll, good. uh, we'll, we'll save the, uh, the other stuff for the next episode. Maybe, uh, we'll maybe even do, like, the boss fight in the next episode. That could be fun. Oh, fingers crossed. Let's just make sure we've got the proper resources, and let's have a look-see down at this last little cave system before... Oh, I'm out of torches. Oh, that is sad. Let me cut you off half of my stack. I've got about 90, so it's not going to be an issue. Oh, that's, that's quite a lot. Yes, oh, that's the problem with torches, is that they actually throw it one at a time, because you can actually use that mechanic to uh, toss a torch down a pit and see what's coming up ahead. Really? That's yes. That's very interesting. It's a little bit of a, ooh, there we go. We definitely want to kill that thing. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I made a mistake. I didn't want to come down here, but oh well. There we go. That was a little beetle, and it's very important to kill those because they provide a dye resource, which actually allows you to craft dyes to color your armor and whatnot. So very nice for cosmetic purposes. Nice. Yes. And that's what it's all about, is looking good. Exactly. Like, like I've said before, it's all about making sure... Oh. Well, that's troubling. What? That water down there is actually directly in the path of our uh, <laughs> little shaft, so... I, I, uh, I may have done that. I'm going to blame you, so... I, I think that was We will point. clear I, that out in the next episode. Hopefully get some boss fights in as well, because we have been really itching for a fight. Indeed. Got all this lovely new equipment to test out, and I'd like to see how that goes, so... As we would will be I. seeing you in the next episode. Sounds good. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We do appreciate it, and it really helps out our channels. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. They can find you in... Just, just YouTube. Just, just YouTube. Just st still a hermit. Don't, still a hermit. Don't, don't worry. We, we need to work on Once that. Once again, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm, I'm looking into it. But for now, YouTube is where it's at. All right. Well, all those links will be in the video description below, guys. So... Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll definitely see you next time. Have a good day, everybody. And then we're going to put right on top of the redstone block a piston, just like this. You could actually put a redstone torch down there, too. That works just as well, and it really doesn't make a difference. Now, for the booths, we're going to use...